Greetings, my name is Julian. I'm an admissions counselor with the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine. And in this video, we're going to be talking about shadowing. Um, shadowing is one of those subjects that always comes up uh, specifically in, in the road to medical school. It's really just kind of one of those things that uh, you're just supposed to do. Uh, and it's really good for a number of different things. It's good for seeing the interaction between the physician and the patient. It's good for seeing the behind the scenes activities. Uh, that happen that the patients normally don't get to see, and it's also good to obtain a letter of recommendation. There's two basic approaches to shadowing. There's the quality approach and the quantity approach. The difference between those two is the, the quality approach where a student will find one or two persons to shadow and they shadow those individuals for a good amount of time. The quantity approach is more about finding multiple individuals usually divvied up by specialization, and uh, they'll shadow a variety of specialists, actually. I don't think one's necessarily better than the other, it's just two different ways of approaching the same issue. Um, the quality approach sometimes can yield better letters of recommendation, but not in all cases. It is sometimes difficult to find people to shadow. Um, there's a couple different resources that you can look into. Uh, there's the internet resources, so a person looking for an osteopathic physician can go to the, uh, the American Osteopathic Association's website for the MDs. There's also the American Association of Medical Colleges. Both websites maintain uh, lists that uh, students can access to contact uh, physicians. Uh, other routes, maybe your health profession advisor uh, has a list of physicians in the area that may be willing to, uh, to let you shadow them. Um, also, you can always try contacting your local medical school admissions and or alumni offices. Both of those offices may also maintain lists of, of physicians to shadow as well. Hopefully this video has been a little bit helpful in understanding the, the shadowing process. My name is Julian and thank you very much for watching.